Welcome back to Cool Game Collectibles. Today we are doing a room tour from the first quarter of 2024. As we enter the room, we'll pan around, take a look at everything real quick. Here you can see we have some one tenths, we have some quarter scales, we have some one sixth. Uh, here's where I usually do my recording for the live streams, uh, some of the unboxings. Here's one of my one tenth scale statues, uh, Iron Man from the Infinity Saga. Just couldn't find a spot for it on the shelf. Here we have custom made Cool Game Collectibles beanie. Let me know if you're interested in one man. We'll make sure we get one to you as soon as possible. So here we have the Prime 1 Batman Advanced Suit. Uh, this is a quarter scale statue. Definitely think the design on this one is amazing. It does have a light up feature there on the chest. But I usually display it exactly how you see it here. Moving on we have the Flash 1 6 scale maquette from Tweeterhead. This is the exclusive version with the bright color red. Newspaper there, the awesome statue. Next to that we have the John Stewart Green Lantern, one six scale maquette from Tweeterhead. Uh, this also is the exclusive version, but I choose to display it with the collector's edition portrait. That lantern is definitely one of the selling points for this statue and then you get the proximity piece as well but the green on this one definitely pops and makes it a standout statue here we have the wonder woman one six scale maquette from tweeter head and again man just a beautiful statue comes with uh, three different switch outs for the weapon you have the spear you have the sword and then also the axe and this is the exclusive version look at that base man the base is awesome uh, there was a little negative feedback on the fire effect but i think it works comes across well paint job on this one was awesome the portrait on this one was awesome no switch out portrait it's just the one you see here and you have my Justice League poster. I'm hoping that Tweet Ahead makes a cyborg and a hawk girl and a Martian Manhunter. Uh, here you have the exclusive 1 6 scale Superman maquette. This one comes with four different portraits one with long hair, red eyes, short hair, red eyes, one with long hair, regular eyes, and then one with short hair, regular eyes cape on this one is awesome man definitely a selling point the red on this one pops that blue is awesome and then moving on we have the aquaman one six scale maquette from tweet ahead now, this one comes with a couple of switch outs but that water effect is definitely the selling point of this statue you see the hints of light blue you see the dark blues you can see the white along the edges you can literally see the shaping of waves just an awesome awesome base if you're an aquaman fan this is definitely one to add to the collection moving on we have the 1 8th scale pcs ninja turtles line uh, there's mikey classic nunchucks yeah dining with a bow staff different base you have Leo with his double swords or double katanas uh, different base and then Raph and Mikey kind of have similar bases uh, of course Raph has his two sides and then we have the villains at the bottom starting with Bebop uh, gun in hand you have Shredder here the pen job on this shredder is probably the best out of all of these. Uh, that cape is definitely what makes him stand out. Here you have Crane. And then we have Rocksteady. Also with gun in hand to match Bebops. 
awesome line uh, PCS actually just released that line in the 110 scale speaking of 110 scales we have Iron Studios 110 scale Ant-Man from the Ant-Man Wars movie uh, Iron Man Deluxe from the Endgame line I love this statue man nice base on that one too then we have the Doctor Strange uh, Doctor Strange does come with a switch out hand with a sword awesome base then we have the deluxe black panther 110 scale from iron studios also from the end game line moving on we have some movie pieces 110 scale spider-man homecoming pieces this is the iron man next is vulture with the massive wingspan definitely a standout piece cool base and then of course we have spider-man with the weapon coming from his hand kind of an awkward piece uh, like some broken metal i love the paint application on this statue and the pose uh, that red and blue just pops and then of course you have the accent of black it's an awesome statue you can see this spider on his chest and there was one on his back as well I'm not sure exactly what's on the base kind of looks like an explosion but definitely a cool effect then we have the spider-man far from home line this is the spider-man with the black and red suit definitely good paint application on that one then we have the mysterio this one comes with a light up feature i don't normally use it though then we have Molten Man. Uh, Molten Man is really, really cool, especially when you put a light in front of it. Look at the face on that man. You can make out the eyes and the mouth on this one. This one is just one piece. You don't put anything together for this one. One solid piece. And then the bases are connecting from the Molten Man to the Night Monkey. Black suit Spider-Man. Just an awesome statue, man. I like the weapon effect on this one. And then below that, we have the Spider-Man No Way Home line. Uh, Spider-Man number three. We have Spider-Man number one. awesome suits man i mean this was a line i definitely had to get just to have the variation in the suits and to be able to see them all at one time and then here we have spider-man number two with the big bug eyes uh awesome paint application on this one as well you can see the black spider on his chest a lot of the black and red kind of checkered pattern going on on his costume and then of course we have Green Lantern in the background with the pumpkin bomb in his hand. You have the glider that's already crashed and kind of damaged on uh, some of this broken building. You see the debris, awesome statue. And that one definitely um, is a standout for this collection. It comes with a switch out portrait as well. There you can see all of the Spider-Man collection. And moving on to the animated quarter scale Ninja Turtles line. First up we have Raphael and this is the exclusive version. Comes with two portraits and two hand switch outs. See that awkward Technodrome base. Man, the paint application on these are amazing. See the R on his belt. Amazing. Next up we have Donnie with the bow staff. Uh, this is the exclusive version as well. It comes with the smiling portrait and you can switch his hand and bow staff to where he's holding it in front of him. I just like to display it that way. We have the Leonardo. Now this one is the collector's edition because I did not like the arms crossed on the exclusive and it didn't come with the switch out portrait. So I was good with the collector's edition. As you can see, all of the razors are the blades behind him, these huge spinning blades on the base. You can see the holsters for his swords on his back, the back of his shell. 
Again, paint application is amazing. In person, that blue just pops. And then, of course, we have the craziest brother of all, Michelangelo, with the nunchucks just going wild. Uh, his his pose is wild. He just kind of jumping through the air off of this broken technodrome piece. That orange really pops. Uh, the portrait is awesome. Now uh, this one is the collector's edition as well. I chose to go with the collector's edition because I'm not going with the smiling faces. And I didn't really like the pizza box too much. As you can see, there was a face on that Technodrome base. There's all four of them together. And that's the end of my tour, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay cool.